Alright. Just gonna double check a few things, post a few things, and then we'll get going. Holy shit, that won't be super early. What's up? We're gonna be super early then. I so mean... We can sit around for a little bit. We'll do the sh we'll we'll do the, the the lame stuff, the the long rest and shit. Oh yeah, we'll do that. That's not so good. Yeah. All right. It's time for the sequel. Part. This is the first part two of the season. It really is. I'm going to try to make it a trilogy. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it a trilogy, he says. All right. Die, All strength, right. and drama. Okay. Uh, so that, that chest has no bones, right, in it? I have no idea. Nobody is... So, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, because we picked it up last season, and I brought it with me. Yes, but... Oh, what... um. Which character, though? It was... I think it was Gauze. Are you shitting me? I'm pretty sure it was Gauze. We picked those up. Ah, Triash, I need to... Oh, speaking of which, I do need to make sure I get everyone's... Uh, I did realize I forgot points about uh, subs and crap like that. Plus, Triash had points for a donation, so... Fifteen for Triash. Uh, then we got a sub, plus one sub, and then who is it? Eagle had a sub. Oh, then you're really far behind. No, actually, no, I'm not. All right, so that just that sub, and then I just got to look at point, uh, point what you might call it, um. Yeah, just a point, which my calls. You know, the really technical point, which my calls. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. And so we are everywhere. We are posted. We are good. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I mean, this is a great spot to do your rest. And we didn't do that. So let's do roll 8d100. Yeah, you know I don't understand when you do that. Hmm. So. Or anything. Yeah, you you can take your short rest and take all your hit points. I thought it was gonna do a long rest. Oh yeah, that's right. So we're doing long rest. And eagle. Fuck. Well, I, I had to do it before the thing. There we go. So that will be ego plus five. So appreciate it very much. Seriously, I do. <laughs> All right. It, long rest. So long rest happens. Pretty sure I lost more hit points than that. And then what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. 
happening right now. I'm, I'm still like not awake, but awake. I get that. Damn it! I wake up early and I didn't get much sleep. We we did not get the house. Yeah. It's yeah. our it was our second offer house offer, but so oh. what we realized is okay, the first house was like a perfect house. You can easily move in, no problem, nothing. Second house, again, perfect house, can easily move in with no no issues. Like not ah uh, uh, not see normally I'm okay with allergies, but yeah. So, um, what we realized is these are perfect houses moving, nothing needs to be done whatsoever. And then eventually, like later on down the line, you're going to want to do some stuff. So what we're going to do now is probably go for houses that might need a little bit of work. Okay. So you guys were looking at the good ones that you don't need work. Now you guys can work a slight picture up there. Yeah. Yeah. Always have to be careful with that because a slight fixer upper can turn into a fixer upper real quick. Yeah, luckily, uh, I got two two extremely handy guys: my father in law and my father. Hey, like, look at that! <laughs> like, like my dad literally just moved into a house and said, ah, "I'm gonna knock out a few walls," and uh, bam. <laughs> I, I really gotta. I got I got actually a few neighbors are construction workers so like I gotta get my bathroom redone so oh you got a house or is it... uh so it's my mom's house but she basically gave me my sister and herself all the under the title oh so all I'm right so te- technically I have a house all right sweet <clears throat> well the pr- until you have to fight your your sister for it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> until we find races of court, essentially. All right. Beware of asbestos. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Luckily, I live in a city that has, uh, like, something. I think it's called, like, fair housing or whatever it's called. So, basically, there be, when you put it up for sale, there's a pre-inspection already done on it. But you so, also got to be careful because if it's been on the market for a long time, they haven't done the check in a while either. So that's another yep. factor. Oh, no. But, How, houses out here last two weeks tops. Yeah. I can see that for sure. All right. So we got to about... get this garden going too. All right. So we got, we're good. We're good here. Um, so oh, you, nice. um, you're probably not going to be able to carry buckets parts. That's fine. All I right. did say I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put Mop in a, his backpack and just carry him. All right. So let's just go ahead and remove Mop. Yeah, let's assume I have him somewhere. All right. What did what, let's see what Mop had because in a long cuz a short rest you can attune to his shit possibly. Oh, oh, actually, I don't even know what he has on him. Let's let's find out really quick, cause that that'd be something something to look at. So I have, I think one attuned. I have attuned to one thing, and that's literally the rope. Um. Oh, you have his plus one trident. Do I have to tune to that? Uh yes, you do. Fuck. So, do you want to spend the one hour to attune to it? Yeah, let's assume I did that before I did the long rest. All right, so what else do you... What do you have? I mean, it... Uh, let's see. You will have to add that plus one trading. Yep, I'm I'm working on it. Ooh, excuse me, I apologize. What I love is I can just literally go, ha and it's on. <laughs> is infused as well and that's going to go for four days yeah that'll go for four, four days so 
So I have one attunement slot left, right? Let's see. Just double checking. Plate doesn't. Really... The tattoo requires attunement. The robe requires attunement, and the oh. trident requires okay, so attunement. That's all my new people. Okay, that's all my. I forgot about that tattoo. So. All right, so uh, let's let's just let's just go ahead and start. All right. So you packed up uh, him. Yeah. Grabbed his shit. Um. So, actually, what you do see, you do see that chest on top of a stone table. And the stone table is, like, solid. So, more like an altar than anything. Going to check it out real quick. All right. You, pop, you pop. Oh, uh, let's actually double check before I say you just pop it open because yeah. it's been a while. Part of it together. So the moment, <clears throat> so you, you you basically grab the coffer, you're about to open it up, and as soon as you touch it, uh, the table begins to sink away and moves completely flush with the floor. So basically, just sinks down. And it's comp it is one hundred percent indistinguishable from the uh, the floor. Okay, I want to go back one just in case something else happens. Okay, All right. You do open it up and you find seven small, irregularly shaped pieces of yellowed human finger bones. So out of character, their bones are still there because it's still there, even though one of the um, other characters they res they respawn. Okay, okay, just double checking. Okay, Certain uh, items in here respawn. Like, these are not, like, magical daggers or anything like that. They're, yeah. These aren't legendary weapons. So, certain things respawn. Okay. Um, okay. So, I remember Mop was saying something about going northwest. Now, was it go more north or more west? All right, give me a wisdom. We'll just do a saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. To see if you remember which way was north and west. Okay, and normal. <laughs> you're pretty sure. Um, okay. You're you're you don't you're turned around. You don't remember which way is north. You remember okay. you were going this way, so. So I can assume this is north because I remember him saying this is north. Then yep. if I was coming this way. Yep. Okay, so then, okay. So that wisdom was nothing. Okay, so, but the problem, no, but the question was, what, did he say more north or more west? Now that's what this Yeah, you don't remember, so. Okay. You know what? I was kind of leading go north, so. All right. But which north? <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> I love it. He's just like, I'm going to open that door, and then I'm going to open that door. Oh. You know what? He says say northwest, so. All right. Uh, wow. Well, what is this one? Oh yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and preload this one. Oh, can you roll for the stars? Oh, yeah. Thank you. You used three? It says two here. Okay, you used two. You got them all back. Okay. Um... Alright, let's go. And just give me one second so I can read up on some things. Yeah. yeah. This is, a, this is a new area I don't think everyone's ever been in. Alright. We're good. Yeah, 
Go ahead. Continue at your leisure. Um, Harness? Yep. Is the map supposed to end? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that explains more. Okay, this makes way more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were still on the other. So, this room is lit by a continuous uh, bright white magical radiance emanating from the ceiling. In the center of the well, surrounded by a knee-high parapet, uh, is a... Surrounded it... In the center of the room is a well, surrounded by a knee-high uh, stone parapet. Its depths are lost into darkness. A cool breeze wafts up from outside the well. So you see the well. Yes. It's a nice cool breeze coming up from uh, under. And again, it's a knee high for, for the little lip of the well. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's not the Yanni portal. And plus it's going down. So I want to go up. You see what looks like to be a few dead bodies up here. And yeah. the smell is horrible coming from this room. Okay. I'm assuming this is still north for now. I don't feel like I got turned around enough. Um, north? You know, I gotta pause because I gotta pull out a book. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is. Yep. Okay. I'm assuming I want to go west. All see. right. I'm gonna. Is there anything different with this door? Oh uh, no! It looks like a standard stone door. Okay, I'm gonna try to open it. As soon as you uh, grab the handle, you notice red wards on the doorknob. So as like, soon as I touch it, we're about to touch it. As soon as you touch it, so basically you grab it and you see wards flare but nothing seems to have happened but there's definitely some magical juju going on with that yeah something like that okay now i'm going east but i see a door going north logically is there anything wrong with this door uh i mean it looks like a standard door all right, well, we'll open it then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to open it. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. An inclined stone table covered with thin gold sheets occupies the center of the room. Four rotting creatures covered in weeping sores stand around it. A middle-aged female in moldering, antiquated finery is strapped to the table. Her skin is gray and wrinkled and torn in places. As you take in her features, her face begins to smooth and regain a pink hue. So, let's see. Yada, yada, yada. You also notice, as you take that in, you notice there's like gold wiring in the floor like um you know how um how the old like wrought iron gates are usually usually made you know how they like pour it into the little groove you know yeah. you, you notice there's a little groove filled with gold that leads into this room and it connects to this t 
table. Okay, that's kind of creepy, but good to know. Alright, so that being said, as soon as you open the door, the door, it was dark in here. And the room begins to light up, and immediately they turn and look at you. So, initiative. Sorry. Oh, you kidding me. So, this little piggy went to the market. Come on. Pretty sure most of them get to me. Oh, it did some other One, two, three, four, five. So walk on up and take a swing at you. Does a 21 hit? Nope. <laughs> I thought as much. It's your turn. Oh, look at that. My friend gave me a trident. I don't know. Let's try. All right. Using the trident. One-handed. So this will be... Because you have a shield, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I missed that. Yeah, I do have a shield. I want to double check to make sure everything's set correct. Yeah, it's not set correctly. Oh, it's not? Okay. Detail. Oh, yeah. Because my yeah, it's supposed to be my strength. Plus four. All right, everything should be good now. So it'll still wait. Hold on. Oh, it's supposed to be plus four though. Yep. It's supposed to be a fifteen. Oh, that'll hit. <laughs> okay, let's just say fifteen. Yep. Okay. So damage, not versatile, right? Uh, damage. Yes, versatile is if you're doing two-handed. Oof. So you stab him in the gut. The second one moves on up to you and tries to swing. Fucking. And misses with a 20. These ones also try to come forth to. Yeah. All right. First, the injured one is going to try to claw at you. Critically failing, so let's just <laughs> shuffle that deck right on up. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, really, this trade is okay. Ah, uh, fuck. Torn muscle. I feel like we had that one. <laughs> Actually, on a different one. Yep. So it lost a point of strength, which is no biggie. But doesn't do anything. Your turn, though. When I just attacked again. Alrighty. With the trident. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. For seven damage, as you just stab it in the gut, fucking Spartan style. Oh! Alright. Second ghoul will attempt to attack. Fuck. And the other zombies are just scratching at the back of the ghouls wanting to get at the action. Yep. Actually, no. This one. This, this one will move forward. Oh, I guess, I guess it's allies, right? Yeah. yeah. I miss horribly. I just want to see this. Excellent. And then this one will move past and try to slam you as well. Fucking hell, seriously? Second critical failure. <sighs> I swear, it somehow still hits me with a crit. Fail. That sucks. Nope. That one cannot physically happen. Oh, come on. These are bullshit. 
Because they're fucking zombies. None of these really work. Just a taste. Your attack hits an ally adjacent to you or the target. So that's going to hit this guy. There's six damage. There. By the way, when this one hits the other one, Uh, there is a puff of, like, ash or spores. And I need a DC 10 constitution saving throw from you. <laughs> Wait, let me read the rope real quick. Does it give me advantage or something? I'm just curious. Because I actually never read it. You're a fighter, so no. Oh, no, I'm talking about the rope, though. I don't know what it does. Really. It gives you plus one, and you already oh. have the plus one on there. Yeah, okay. So you are considered, I guess, poisoned? I see. Green creature fights risks or gain a disadvantage on turn. Should be to save turn side. Each turn ending the effect early. So, okay. So, yeah, it's essentially poisoned. Yeah, it's such a poison, but without the damage in effect. Yep. Alright, so okay. Ghoul's going to try taking a swing at you. So basically, basically, he missed. But he missed so bad, it still affected you a little bit. That's rough. And misses horribly. Petra, your turn. What, did he hit the one that's hurting? Alrighty. advantage. Oh, that's, that's still going to hit. He's dead. So this guy collapses. Okay. So um, I, I, I do my saving throw again? You do get your saving throw again, so I will go ahead and just do Ash Puff again for you. Okay, creature can repeat the saving throw. So you you are fine now. You are no longer poisoned. Yeah, it just has to hit again and it will affect him. Alright. So you do notice that these two are covered in the dust that affected you. Uh, so you stabbed him. The ghoul's going to try to attack. Missing horribly, and then the two zombies are gonna go trying to slam into you. <clears throat> Fucking hell! This is number three, by the way. Oh my god, turnies! It's oh my god, it's like the reverse me last game. Remember those fucking back to back to back 20s? Dude, yeah. So as he swings into you, he trips over and falls to the ground. This one. Yep. So he falls prone. Okay. The next one swings at you and misses. Okay. I'm going to remove this combatant. So it's your turn. I'm going to hit the one that's prone. All right. Uh, you will have advantage here. That will indeed hit. For 11 damage. And then I need a DC 10 constitution saving throw. First time the zombie attacks. It takes damage. I need the... Oh, damage. Okay. Wait, it's the first time... Oh, wait, is it the first time this one takes yep. damage? Yep. All right, you're fine. All right. The ghoul's going to go ahead and take another swing at you. I just need to basically crit just to hit you, and I don't. And then the two zombies are going to try to slam you. Can they hit me, the, actually? The, the, the other one's going to get up. Yep. He's... Then go for it. Come on. 
And then he's going to go for it. Can they make... Can they even hit me with my Izzy? Yeah, a critical hit is no matter what is a hit. Oh, okay. And both of them miss horribly. It is back to you. Wh which one are you hitting? The one that... The one I stabbed. The one I stabbed. Okay, that will hit. Oof, da. Yeah, the, the one you keep uh, stabbing is not looking good. Now, this ghoul, again, is still, like, just battering against you and is, like, hitting your armor, but it's just, like, thudding. And then two Ash Zombies. First one misses. Second one just... Again, they're like just battering against... Like, they're like hitting the shield and that's it. They're trying to get into the shield wall that you are, but... Dude, I'm glad I picked the armor. That's the common. <laughs> All right. Same one I keep hitting. Yep, that'll hit. So as you stab, it just goes right through the throat, and it actually knocks the head completely off. Nice. And that one falls dead. Anything else for you? Um, that's gonna be. Um, uh, yeah, be it. All right. So the ghoul's gonna again continue just pounding away at. Your armor. And then the Ash Zombie is going to attempt to better the armor. Oh, fucking hell. And then, again, just the shield. Just you, you bring the shield around each time. And just like they just beat against it. Your turn. It's a drum. It's a drum. 13 will hit. Which one? This one? Yeah. That will indeed hit. That would be nice. I should do that next time. All right, that'll be nine. It's still up. How's it look? It's not looking pretty. Oh, you're making me waste another turn. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> there we go. Just made it easier. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. You just hop by those two and just roll, roll. Just yeah. Ghoul misses. Ash Zombie misses. Petra. Got that trident. Oh, you're still stabbing at that? Oh, God. And again, just like right in the eye sockets, just completely just knock it down and then he kick it off the trident you're not beautiful enough to be on this trident all right so that was you one more for the ghoul fucking hell just get constantly just batting battering against that shield so it's on you oh i don't think that's in that here. misses actually so he's going to go back and take a swing at you. And does nothing. So it's back to you. Ooh. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. I really, I really hope it's the one that gets like. I hope it's punt. But it'll come back so, to my hand. So these things are like... Spilling out like black ooze from their their dead bodies, and you actually slip and fall. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. All right. And this ghoul actually gets excited, and like just goes ham on you, and misses because. They, they're just terrible. Alright, I'm gonna get up. You're gonna lean up. Alright. Same attack again. 
You stab at it in the gut this time. Alright. Do you manage to get up, stand? He's gonna try to batter you yet again. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> that will hit. It is still up, but it is not looking good. Alright, keep going. This then. this one's gonna go for you. And Does finally hit. manages to find some flesh for nine damage. You know what? Oh, you I, motherfucker. I, I hate to be this guy, but let's uh, let's do that. Perry, so... On top of the three damage it's going to miss because of my heavy armor... So dexterity modifier, which is what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, a two. Two. So two plus your D eight. Yeah, and we'll use this. Normal. So five total. Six seventy. I would take one damage. Five. Yeah, you take one damage. But. I need a DC 10 constitution saving throw. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes. That's what I needed. It's not going to do anything, I guarantee it. So I just need to double check because you are considered paralyzed. Paralyzed is incapacitated. Uh, they have advantage on their attack. And if it hits, it's a crit. Alright, so it finally realizes that you're paralyzed, so it's going to go ahead and take a bite out of you. Okay. And I forgot. Still with advantage. So I need a DC 10 constitution saving throw from you, so just hit constitution for me. Uh, okay, so just hit constitution. saving throw and you are no longer paralyzed so that was the one chance I had to get some damage in nothing so that's your turn it is my turn come on nope on to you let's do one again I got one fucking damage in and paralyzed him. Uh, yeah, that yeah. will miss. All right. Go ahead. Your turn, Nick, because that misses. That is going to hit. All right. So on, this thing has to die back. This thing finally dies. God damn it. I'll kick him in the head. You just kick him in the head. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's Four. wrong for? Hold on. Oh, you know what? Actually, before I do that, I'm going to pick up the Four. head that. Uh, so, for you, plus 500 experience. Okay. Oh, fuck. What? What? Uh, five plus the damage taken. Let's see. So as you're like, oh, thank God. That fight's over. You notice... Both zombies stand back up. So it's your turn. Okay. Oh, can I... 
So, mm, actually, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. You give out a cup, right? Because there's zombies. I think it's yep. only radiant damage, right? To break or down. a critical hit. A crit. Oh my god. So it is your turn. You're like about to search him, and he just watches one unnaturally just like stand back up, bending in ways it shouldn't. God. Come on. Wide open. This uh, wide open means uh, they have advantage for one round. So you like s swung wide. And sort of left your shield out of place a little bit, and you're just, they're just gonna get advantage for one turn. Okay. All right, which means I can slam. And then this guy can attempt to slam. <laughs> oh. One slam just punches you square in the face. For a total of seven damage. I'll take the four, actually. So you take four. All right, it's your turn. Um, oh, yeah. Let's go for it again. This guy will get hit. And let's just see he's dead, because I know it's only like one HP, right? Yep, so he goes down. Give me one second. Oh, I need damage, actually. This one falls dead again. Okay. Anything else for you? No, that's going to be it. All right. This one will go ahead and slam on you. At a normal attack and misses horribly. Alright, one's still standing. Wait, 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 wait. It got advantage on this one. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was only one round. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're good. That will hit. Let's see. That goes down, right? Yep. It goes... Wait, hold on. I gotta read the wording on it. Uh, and it's still standing there. As you, like, stab into it, it's still, like... You, you, your trident's all the way through it, and it's just staring at you. And then you pull the trident back out. Alright, go ahead then. So he's gonna go ahead and stab, slam into you. Missing horribly. Your turn. This one doesn't seem to be moving still. And that 13 will hit. For nine. And this one finally goes down. Okay. I'm going to go in this room. Close the door. Alright. And I'm going to look around. All right, let's see. Oh, so um, it looks like uh, one of the zombies came off of the table to come attack you. It looks like they were trying to return it back from the dead. Um, let's see when character yada yada yada. Um. So the go the t entire table is completely coated in runes uh, made out of gold. Uh, they're like gold sheet plates here, there, and everywhere around it, including gold bands that wrap around it.
Yeah. All right, what's going on? Sorry, my brother came in and started asking questions. Um, you're just in a room by yourself. There's a table that has like a gold wire coming from here, like going to the center of the table. And then the entire table is covered in gold plates. Um, and from what you can remember, it looks like they're trying to bring one of the zombies back to life. Got it. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't know anything about magic. Can I try to take the gold somehow? Uh, you could, do you have a crowbar at all? I do, I think. Let's see. You mean the magic word crowbar? Yes. <laughs> so basically, you could probably spend a good hour prying up these plates. Uh, these plates are worth... You know there's some worth there. All right, let's try it. All right. So no, you, you're just spending the full hour. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll one die really quick. So uh, you managed to pry off all of the gold plating, the gold uh, restraints and everything off of this table um and you you're gonna go ahead and stuff those into your backpack with the dead body yeah <clears throat> all right i'm gonna make them into an oreo i'm gonna make them into oh my god all, all right. right okay i ready my weapon and open the door by the way when you first touched it it did shock you slightly okay oh uh do i get the 500 now or do i get yeah you get the 500 now I'm, I'm dangerously close. Yeah, you you are. I mean, he's a Goliath, so he's golden. But yeah, it, it is pretty heavy with these gold plates. Uh, by the way, you do see. You are paying attention now. It does look like there's a gold line going this direction, and then continuing further on that way. This way. Yes. It's just a one gold line. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I do like gold. But I like the way out as well. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Uh, give me one second. That is a good question. What is going on here? Do, do, do. That was there for no, who knows what reason. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? It might have been because of a construction. Yep, it might have been from a previous construction phase. Because I know this area. This is the first. This is the first time anyone's been here. Right? All right. Yep. So what you see in front of you is very strange. It looks like a pillar. Oh. Wait, actually, Tarnus, let me, like, can we go back a little bit, actually? Because I'm assuming during battle and all that stuff, I don't know where north is anymore. No, no, no. You've you you've still been going north. Okay. I wasn't sure if I would know because right. I just went to right. battle. You see what looks like a giant pillar of darkness. Just pure black darkness. Probably 10 feet by 10 feet. Like, as you walk, like, around this way you'll see that there's another giant veil of darkness. There's a veil of darkness on this side. There's a veil of darkness on this side. It's just a wall of pitch black darkness. But it's like a giant column going straight up to the ceiling. You see a door here. That seems to have lit candles on the outside of the door. Someone's there. Let's, uh... Is it just candles? It's just, it just... it's just lit candles uh, in the corners by the door. Right, I'm going to knock, maybe, and see if anyone's there. All right. You, you, hear, you knock on the door. Give me the Do ones. I smell it? Do I hear or smell anything first? Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 
You hear what sounds like some. Oh, you hear nothing. Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. Yeah, you know, like putting your hair against the door. Not, no one's home. If no one's home, then I'm just gonna. No one. So I'm trying to get directions. I'm trying to get directions. So like, you look see what looks like a giant pile of rubble. And this rubble actually looks almost strategically placed. You know what to do. Because that door is locked. Keep going this way. This rubble is like stacked pretty high. Uh, yeah. It 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 would take you a few hours to just try to clear it yourself. Yeah. yeah no. Uh, fuck! I'm out of places to go. There's, north, west, west. Is you went. You went. You came from the south. You went west. Yeah. You went north. And there's two I, east. I know. There's two east. Nope. I got one of them. Let's go this way. It's close. Oh, it goes up. Okay, good. So you're still technically going north. Yeah, I'm still technically going north. Three. Okay. You see what, again, looks like strategically placed, like, rubble and stone. Got it. Well, this is going the complete opposite direction. Hmm. I would think this would be the... General probably looping around back to the same room. Sorry. So one thing that catches your eye is a green glow down this hall here. Uh, a, yep, a green glow. It doesn't look like writing. It actually looks like a swirling portal. Uh, even though it's tempting, and that's my favorite color is green. I will not. Oh, another door. North. I'm gonna hear. I'm gonna listen to my old friend's wisdom. All right, you got a perception. All right, you don't hear anything on the other side of the door, really. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open. All right. Uh oh. Copy you. Preload uh -huh. this scene for you. Okay, Tardis. Do you know how many chunks I've gone through yet? Yeah, you've gone through. Wait a bit. I've gone through a lot of chunks. Uh, you want to? Where do I want to? Still loading. Okay, there it goes. Check what the hell? You see what looks like a pit. All right. You hear... You hear a little muffled noise. You can't quite tell what it is, though. Okay. I'm going to knock. Okay. Is this door normal size? By yes. Way, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to knock. All right. You, you, you hear what sounds like a reaction on the other side. I got to double check. What languages do you have? I'm in a giant. Fuck. You hear in giants. Uh, 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 who is it? Ethral. Ethral, Ethral, Ethral. We don't know any Ethral. And then you hear more shuffling behind the, the door. Look, I'm just trying to find the way out of here. Do you know the, where the exit is? And there's silence on the other side of the door. Uh, give me, give me a persuasion. He's like, you want to go up or down? I want to go up. 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 Up is south. Yes, south. I 
Do you know left or east or west? Uh, yeah, I don't know directions. You go, you go the way you came from. That's what it is. You go from the way you came from. Can I? Can I talk? Okay, okay. So. He's like, he, leave, leave me to my nap, and you, 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 you hear him. You hear the creak of a bed. Can you guide me to it? I can give you some gold. Ooh, gold, you say? Gold. Let's see. Uh, yes, yes. Hold on one second. We give you escort. How much is for this escort? Escort is free, good friend. Yes. All right. Do I hear him walking away? Uh, you do hear him walking away. For just okay, a slight second. Okay, I don't like how you said that. You said it's free, and I don't like that. All right. You You see the door open, and you see it looks like three guys ready to go for war. Three okay. ginormous guys ready to bear down for war. So. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and roll it. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Okay, it's time for the great chase. All right, hold on one second. I just want to check something. All right. You're first, you lucky son of a bitch. All right, I said, you said south, right? And he looks at you, he's like, no, no, come back. We, 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 we escort. Yes, escort. We're, we're talking giant this whole time, right? Yep. All right. All right. He said south, so one, two, three, four, three. So that's five, six. Okay. Dash. One, two, three. All right. From here... You start to hear this murmur of noise down this hole. And it's it's very unsettling. Okay. Uh, let me uh, just double check. Can I go in the square? Because I have one more spot. Yep. Okay. I'll go right there. All right. You hear what seems like charging down the hall. Like heavy iron boots running towards you. Okay. Um, and it's it? to you. Yep. Alright. Uh, do I have to jump this? Or... Uh, you can give me an acrobatics, but it will be half of one of your movement. So acrobatics and this to be half my movement? Yep. How about uh, if I jump? If you jump, it'll be athletics. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going for the jump. And this is going to be an action, right? Yes. Oh, you actually get a jump, and with uh, the 20, I will give you the rest of your movement. So this is 10. Wait, 5, 10, 15. So you get 15 more feet. And I then you... behind me. Hey, see you later, suckers. One, two. So now you can take your deck. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that was my action, right? So. Yep. This guy is going to attempt to jump. Oh, I got an idea if he does make it. Huh. Oh. Oof, that was a bad idea, my friend. And, uh, oh, yes, get him. Your turn. All right. Okay. Let's try this. You really want to keep following me? I want to try... You know what? No, don't do that. Oh, God. So, you roll of stars, you take one off. Yep. The damage, right? Yep. So you just hit him square in the chest with your magic missiles. Uh, 
And he like yeah. teeters back slightly. Right, then I go right here. Okay. Because they can't jump across. They, this is true. They cannot jump across. So the other guy looks like he's getting pissed and takes his great club to you. Which one? The guy in the, front of me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Slinging and missing horribly, by the way. And the other ones seem to, like, look at you and then pull out javelins and start throwing them at you. How much of an AC do I get because of the big guy in front of me? <laughs> Shut up. You get pl yeah, yeah, just, they, they're not, they're not, hold on, how intelligent, they're not intelligent, so they throw them. <laughs> Missing horribly. <laughs> and like, <laughs> you, you see the guy, like, literally, like, duck as one almost hits his head and, like, bounces off the wall. He's like, what, shit, you idiots and giant. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, is it my turn? And then you start to hear this horrid, like, murmuring down below, but you can't really tell. It's like... Yeah, it, it's... And you, you, you see the other two guys, like... They, they, they're a little afraid of that noise, actually. Alright. You know what? Your turn. Is it possible? I'm thinking. Is it possible to push him in this hole? Uh, so that's a shove action. The uh, I gotta look up five e, five e shove combat. Uh, shoving a creature. Using your attack action, you can make a special melee to shove the creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from you. Uh, let's see. It's one size larger, which is fine. Instead of making an attack roll, you make an athletics check contested by his athletics. Or his acrobatics. Okay, so athletics versus athletics. Let's try it. Uh, okay, you, you, go ahead and roll. Wait, did that add to my proficient? Oh no, it's the six appetite already. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> so you push him down the hole and he falls. That's 30 feet, so that is roll 3d6. And then you just hear screams. Down below. Okay. So this guy stands up and he's like, no, get away, get away. And he... And the other two seem to like, like <clears throat> they're like, no, get away from it. No, they're like trying to t help him. Well, they seem down and they they realize they don't have the javelins anymore to help. They don't seem to be too worried about me anymore. Yeah. And then. guy is going to do his he screams incoherently down below okay let's see Just roll the to what it does oh my god God, this thing's gonna murder it, and you're gonna get experience for it. Oh, fucking hell. I shoved it! Oh, 
head. Oof. You see a flash of light down below. All right, your turn. What are you doing? All right, I tell him. Okay, I'm gonna look at them. And say, what's going down down there? They're like you murdered him. You you asshole. And they're I'm trying. Like, to... You guys try to kill me for my gold. Now which way is the way out? Give me a persuasion. They tell you to fuck off. All right. You know what? Since they told me to fuck off, I'm gonna throw my trading at this guy. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, yeah, you hit. Oh, ouch! And I just open my hand out to break to come back. I'm like, I told you, where the hell is the way out? They're like, what the fuck, man? And. and yeah. And then one guy, one other one, uh, takes out what looks like a horn and blows on it. It's this loud, deafening, like, warning alarm. I just have a terrible idea for a combo for this regard and right now. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, give me a perception check really quick. Perception. Pay no attention to those. Okay. So it's Petra, Fire Giant, down below. Can he do anything? Nope. One second, I'll be right back.
Sorry, Harvey almost got out, so. All right, I'm back. Close that. He does nothing. Hey, you. Sorry about that. It's all good, dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Harvey was causing some trouble. No, yeah, yeah. Joe almost got out, right? Yep. All right. Let's see. So that... Oh, it's the Giants' turns, right? Yep. So, looks like this guy runs back. Looks like he's running to grab something. And then he's like, oh, f you hear him go, oh, fuck. I want to know what they found. And there's this large, just loud shriek. I have no clue what those things are, but goddamn. Fuck me, really? Okay, that one's fine. What are those things? They're they're flying heads. Ooh. It's, it's not a, a good thing. Yeah. All right, so that's that. He's gonna try to become unfrightened. Nope, it's still frightened, screaming like a little girl. Runs over, it's like, move out of the way! And that one is gonna... Bite. And then you hear a death scream. Down below. Your turn! All right, I'm going to throw my last jab. I'm going to throw the javelin again on him. Go help your friend, you asshole. And tell me where the exit is. <laughs> and I throw. Oof, I bet I missed that one. No, oh, that hits. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. You are at disadvantage. What? Oh, wait, how far is that? That's too far. That's 30. I thought it's, 30 it's 20, 60. I'll roll again. Yeah. Oh, okay, All right. Still comes back in. All right. Um. Are you uh, disengaging I, or are you? I um. I asked them where the directions are. One they they I'm don't answer. Go. They seem to be busy. All right. Then I'm gonna leave. Yeah. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. All right. I will disengage this combat. Right. I can wait here, and you can like. See if they kill it off and I get exp more XP. No, you are only going to get this guy. Oh, but I hit the other guy. Uh, add 225. How much do I have now? You should be able to. Here, I'll just do. Wait, can I add experience? Five sixty. Okay. What was it? Uh, five sixty. Or five. Or five thousand six hundred. Sorry. Okay. Right. So okay, one. Two. Oh, I'm out of combat. So. Yep. I want to go north, where I know those guys are there. Actually, it's locked, huh? Yep. Okay. One second.
Go ahead. Wait. Okay, wait. Then, okay, and then I want to remember, wait, they said the exit's south. I want to go south. Because I forgot they went, they forgot. All right. Okay. So you see what looks like a portcullis. Okay. And there's, like, chains across it, everything. And there's a smell, there's this foul smell coming from this area. And then you, you you hear something shuffling and moving on the inside. Oh no, I don't think I think that's their pet. <clears throat> pet that they forget to feed. I see no no cool. And again you hear more shuffling and it seems to be getting closer. Alright, looks like that's the that's the pet. Okay. All right, so there's this bright light emanating from the south and to the southwest. And southwest? Yep. There's a. I don't see that. Oh yeah, no, you're you're good. You see the bright light here, and this looks like somebody tore up and started digging here. I don't know. I don't like the light. It looks like there's another bright light. It looks like there's an orb here. Here, let me give you the description of this room. The alcove is weirdly lit by a flickering, drifting sphere of light. It wander, its wandering radiance illuminates the waist-high heap of stony rubble, which fills the alcove and spills out into the corridor. You're, you're not talking. Oh, you're... Yeah, I was going to check the door to hear. All right. Yeah, you don't hear anything on the other side. These stairs, which way do they go? They're, they're going up. Going up, up you said. Oh, uh, what are these statues? Uh, looks like three statue faces with open mouths. You can't quite tell uh, what's in them from this angle. I see it from this angle? From this angle, you see what looks like... Um, you you actually hear some whispering on the other side of this. Like, hey! I'm trying to get out. Do not do anything. Is this the way out? Hold on. All right. All right. So <laughs> you you hear laughing on the other side, and you hear you see uh, what looks like the mouth closed on this. I need a dexterity saving throw. Are they shooting from this ankle? I need a dexterity saving throw. Okay. You hear, you see a mouth open up immediately. And I need you to either say west or south. I'm going uh, west this way. All right. So you jump 10 feet over. As a fireball goes off. Fireball? One mouth opens up and delivers a lovely fireball. You will be taking half of that damage. Then on top of that. 
Do that. Uh, so, and your constitution modifier. So go ahead and roll your damage. So eight plus three, or no, it's just eight. It's just eight. So, so you take when, two. Oh, ha two damage. There you go, boys. And unfortunately, Mark is an asshole. understand why he's doing it but Are you okay, what I'm doing? give me one second yeah. you're here hooting and hollering coming from the door you opened this way yep okay um i'm gonna go this is up right yeah Okay, I'm going to run up one. Six. I'm, just, I'm going by turn base. So yep. I went three. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm going to dash yeah, again. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I'm up here. Alrighty. Keep going. You, you, you hear hooting and hollering starting to go up the stairs? And then, unfortunately... You see a door open to your right. Go ahead and give me initiative. Oof. This creature looks like a stalactite. It pulls the wall aside uh -huh. and looks at you. And goes ahead. Oh, fuck. So let's do four attacks real quick. Critical fucking failure. Are you kidding me? This one's called Whirlwind. Oh, really? <clears throat> its tentacles seem to um, whirl out about you and tangle themselves. And none of the rest of the attacks can go off. But it will try to take one bite. I'm not close. Am I close enough? Ah, oh, shit. No, you're not. All right. I'll, uh, Your turn. Game's paused. Okay, I'm going to go here. Then here. It's 1, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you can hit 60. God fucking damn it, you escape. Yay! <laughs> you fucking escape. That's. F I, I can't believe that fucking roll. Oh! Oh! That little roll was clutch. Oh, wait, but I would have parried whatever it was, too. If it did hit. They're not gonna kill the. No, they're not going to kill the Roper because it spends its turn undoing the <clears throat> um, wrappage, and then they would have seen it would the apes would have moved up. You would have been completely out of its range because it's <clears throat> it turns around corners and that, and then they would have gone after the apes. I I am. Fuck you. Like, this, this should kill you. I'm going to see if the other two attacks hit, though. 
Nope. That would have hit, and then it would have done. Yep. So it would have <clears throat> it would have grabbed onto you, and it probably would have been over. I mean, He's a loaded sucker. I, <clears throat> God, fucking. Ah, uh, all right. So that being said, for escaping and everything, and I got my buddy out, and you got your buddy out. You are the first level five character. Second. Unless you are you retiring this one? No, no, I thought no. I, um, I thought it was second because I thought the first runner did it. The, the first runner did it, but guess what? He decided to retire him. Are you retiring this one? I'm not. Oh. All right. So ooh, 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 ooh. you have won a very rare item. Yes. The robe of stars. Two. You have. Well, how much gold did you guys pull again? Okay, here, let me bring it up. <clears throat> we, Midget, give it to me. Uh, 900 copper pieces. No, no, what was the total value? Oh, the total value? Shit, here, let me just copy and paste. This is going to take a little bit. You said it was like um, 5,000 gold pieces? It's close here. to that. And Here, this is what he gave me. All right, so 900, hold on, let me... So essentially, you have nine gold there, nine, 909. Uh, so hold on, so that's going to be 3309, then 1500 on top of that, so 4809. That's before the art pieces we have. Five nine plus the six pieces of art, which will be what is that? That's a total of one fifty. So five thousand gold pieces. Five hundred gold. Five thousand five fifty nine gold pieces. Is it plus? Gold? Yeah, five thousand. I'm sorry, five thousand gold pieces plus. If you sell all the gold. It, other items. I actually have other items too. I got like. If you sell all the gold, that's five hundred and fifty gold pieces, or five hundred gold pieces right there. And then what? I also have all this stuff I was gonna sell. Fuck. All right, so we'll go over. I mean, this is mundane, so this is half. I'm fine. Oh, you could talk with Torig about that stuff. Yeah. I would talk to Torig about like standard stuff, uh, mundane stuff. He might be willing to buy it for like one gold piece over, probably. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> other than that, so you have that plus uh, the robe of stars, and you have your dead buddy, who I heard there's somebody who might be able to bring back him back from the dead. They don't have a druid. They don't have a druid. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck. I have an idea though. No, it, it, but it's ten days, so you have ten days to bring him back. I have an idea. I do have an idea. Because I the Del or uh, not the Delvers, um, Trietch. I could talk to him. Use one of his druids. And ask the the ringers to let him use it for this time to bring my buddy back, and of course I'll pay them. Yeah, you'll, they'll probably you'll probably see the pay. All right, so you're gonna have to RP that. Yeah. Uh, and then you two were unaffiliated, so we got. I know the information about the warehouse. Oh my god. And guess who's going to talk? to a little someone called Memento Mori slash SSR. By the way, uh, Mark is probably going to buy some information as well. Um, to be honest, the 
bros if i bring out mob he probably wants to talk to him because i probably was too busy running around causing mischief all right so yeah you no know, but he might want some information about that exit because he does see you come out of that exit yep he, can't put a bot can't put a bag on my head no but he sees you come out of it yeah. uh so he might ask for some information you can, whatever information you can give him what is your in wisdom actually not very high it's your dump stat all right uh you you're pretty much only going to remember the last little bit which is that roper dude the roper dude and probably fireball because that almost hit me oh yeah fireball and uh roper dude so yeah, all right oh so, then i saw giants I, I i probably wouldn't remember that oh yeah and giants to the north to the north somewhere all right yeah we'll we'll, we'll wrap that up here um <laughs> this is gonna cause a headache but we'll figure it out so you uh all the bets did fail you spent over 48 hours in under mountain is it only 48 i thought it was longer than that nope it was, was it, it was, it was all the like long four, rest though. It was like four long rests, right? And then you trying to, I was, I'll just say you stumbling back and forth. So yeah, I'll just say forty eight hours. Yeah, it's just really rough. Um. So yeah, that that'll be interesting, especially. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, you'll you'll have to figure it out. Um. Oh, wait, Tarnus. Technically, this is the for a do. This is for anyone, I think. This is the most someone's gone through this whole map, right? Uh, yes. Because you went... Hold on. Where, where, where... Yeah, I'm you went the... through the most sections, yeah. I'm in the lead, bitches. I'm yes. In the lead. Yes and no. Oh, man. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, it, they needed, the guilds needed a win after that. All right, so let's go to, let's go to Mindari. Let's raid Mindari. Mindari, cool lady, does a lot of homebrew stuff. Yeah, just tell her I said hi, and uh, you guys have a wonderful night. I'm I I can't believe that you got out, you son of a bitch. Hey, the giants told me where to go. This is fair. This is fair. You did convince him to give you yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here, and yeah, yeah, we'll call it a good night.